<laughs> so I want I want to shift gears a bit. In our chats, you mentioned something um, in 2008. You went through an, a, a traumatic mm. experience. <laughs> talk, yeah. talk to me about that. What happened there? Hey. 2008. <laughs> um, I was I was shot. How did that happen? Simplest terms, like yeah, I was um traveling on the TTV. Believe it or not. No um, way. Yeah, um, just traveling on the TTC, and, you know, just no good guys, up to no good. Young guys, up to no good. Because, you know, back, it still happens, but, like, back in those days, that those types of stuff was happening. Like, you find randoms. Yeah, yeah. People from these different neighborhoods, like, on the train, just up to no good. And it was just one of those days, up to no good. And... It was a situation where, like, one person tried to holler at me, mm. and I swerved, I curveballed them, and the next friend started to egg on a situation. Oh. It was dumb, honestly. Like, long story short, it was dumb. And basically, it was a thing where it led to one person hitting me, and you know me. I don't, yeah, give, yeah. I don't care if you're a man or a female. I don't care. I'm yeah. going to fight you. Yeah. So... I threw down, like, like I threw down, and I'm fighting the guy, and I was actually kick, kicking his ass. Wow! And so, while that's happening, I had a best friend at the time too that was with me, so she was jumping in, and you know they attacked her, and they, she's not like a fighter, like me. yeah. But I'll tell you this: she's a she's a soldier, cause when I say she holds on for dear life, like she would not let go of those guys. I'll never forget it. She would not let go. Wow. No matter how they hit her, kicked her, she would not let go. 